let's talk about making calls and seeing the court. After you pass the ball, ideally again you're going to pass straight ahead with a little bit of room and not too tight to the net. Okay? After you pass the ball, I think it's a good habit to take a look at where the other team is set up on the court. Maybe this person was thinking of blocking. Okay, so they've cheated up here. Okay, so I pass the ball, then I take a look at where they're standing to get a mental picture of where they are at the start. Okay, my partner is in here ready to set me. I get set up, right-handed at a little diagonal approach, three steps away. Okay, and right now my partner is going to make a nice set, then turn their head and see where the other team is standing. As I'm hitting, or right before I hit ideally, as I'm approaching, my partner is going to call out line. If this player is jumping and blocking, it's going to be high line. Okay. If this player is just hanging out here, it's just going to be line. Okay. My cut is open. That's the cut right there. Okay. So cut and high line are open. After you pass the ball, it's a really good idea to take a look at where the other team is set up. For instance, if this person's playing up here, it's a good idea for me to take a look and take inventory of what places are open, what areas are open on the court. After I pass the ball, I focus on my partner's good set. After my partner sets the ball, they're going to turn their head and really let me know what's open. All right? So they're going to set the ball first, then take a quick look and say short or angle or cross, whatever you prefer to say. Okay? If this team is standing this way, then I have cut and I have line. Okay? If this team is blocking, okay, and they're taking, for instance, my line, my partner has got to set the ball, turn their head and say, she's up, meaning that she's blocking, and then high line. Okay, or she's up, cut. All right, if this blocker pulled, after the set, my setter's going to say nobody, and nobody for me means just dribble it short. Okay, but they can also say swing middle. Okay, or you have some nice balls that you can work out to the sidelines. If nobody's up, work it out towards the sidelines short. Okay, so that's the cut and the short. Short, the short call means in front of you short. It doesn't mean short anywhere. Because if this player is back, oftentimes this player is up. So you don't want to, if your partner calls short, you got to go short in front of you, not short over here. That's cut. All right, so it's important to differentiate between the calls with your partner before you begin playing. So just to reiterate, after I pass the ball, I take a look at where the other team is standing. After my partner sets the ball, they take a look at where the other team is standing and they let me know before I swing.